Hey, everybody, Klaus here. Welcome to my new Let's Play of... Take it away. Thank you, Chante. <laughs> this is actually the most fun I've ever had out of a Chante game. This is by far my favorite one. Now, I, I'm not going to talk too much about it right now, but at a certain point like, into the game, I just had to pick it up and let's play it. Okay. Let's go ahead and start a new game here. Let's get this show on the road. Ho 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 ho, the magic surrounding me has grown weak. Now is the time to invoke the curse. Hear me, loyal servants. A new source of evil has been found. Seize it for your master so I can rise again and take my place as the one true ruler of Scranton Ha <laughs> ha! Maybe how they able to talk from the grave. <laughs> I had that dream again. It's been the same one every night. Ever since I became human. Yep. Yep, that's right. Shantae has lost her powers and she is full of human now. Or as I or as I would say, Homs. Because I'm too upset with Xenoblade Chronicles. Hmm? What in the world? Uh, sound like cannon fire. Skull Town is under attack. I may not be a genie, but it's still my duty to protect this town from evil. That's why you're awesome, Shantae. Like, seriously, like, one of the best, um, heroines out there. Yeah, this. Wow. Worse, it's the Ammo Baron. He's turning Skull Town into a war zone. Yeah, that kind of sounds like the Arrow of Aaron. Alright. Okay. This right here, okay, this is a really good item right here. Auto Potion. If you could ever fall in the game and you have at least one Auto Potion, that automatically brings you back to life. Think of it as like um, a variant of Auto from Legend of Zelda. I mean, you can kind of fight like one. Okay, here's, a, here's another good item right here. Bike Ball! Okay. Yeah, we, we're, we've already gone into like two of the inventory items like straight away. Yeah, even though you don't have your magic, you can still fight back pretty well. Okay, so we still got the um, standard fair. We've got our awesome hair, little hair rip. Just gotta rip these guys into shape here and yeah, Skull Town. Unfortunately, that's falling apart in the background. Like here we have people panicking. Okay. Now, what I really like about this area is like it has kind of like um, kind of like a um, I don't know, like middle eastern thing going on here. It's, it, in 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 a way, kind of like reminds me of Egypt in a way, which is like really really awesome to me. It's, like, it's kind of a special location for that reason. I won't go too big into details like that because it, it's. Kind of depressing to me personally, but let's not talk to that. Let's talk to this guy, which is kind of the mayor of the town. Huzzah! Skeletal's guardian genie here to save the day! Can't yeah, real mayor. I can't fight the entire Amaranian army by myself. It's an Amaranian. Do something about this. <clears throat> now you see, I can't. I sold. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You sold your town to the Ammo Baron in moment of weakness and spent. What, what, what did you spend the money on? I had to ask. Cheap chocolate. Yeah, chocolate was so much more important to you than the town. Okay, I can't get on them too much. See, then I had to make dirty water by the time I got back. He had already started to move in. Well, it's your, kind of your fault for, for um, selling the town. <laughs> well, I'm ret to go. <laughs> okay, like, this is what you're talking about. This is awesome right here. 
Okay, now, it's kind of weird, though, is that this is actually the only time we get to lay the smack down on these guys, which, honestly, the Ammonian army is kind of like my, it's, it's basically like my favorite baddies to just lay the smack down on. Just, you know, let's really turn them black and blue, just beat them up all around, whip them into shape, literally, ha ha ha. Get it, because we're using our hair to whip them. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's, that's really ni that's really an amazing weapon. You just use your hair to like, strike down enemies. Alright, I can see where Bayonetta got that idea from. <laughs> no, no, I, not really. I'm... Honestly, if that were the case, that'd be super amazing. Okay, just smack down our pot. Smack down our pottery. Cause, well, if Zelda and Okami taught me anything. Is that pottery is a true enemy of any adventurer? Of course, that's why like, when you just when you smash them, you get like hearts and gems and stuff. Like, gems are pretty much the um, form of currency in this game. Like we can't we can't really do anything with them right now, but I still recommend you get as many gems as you possibly can just to buy some stuff like later on. Cause I gotta be, well, I'm not gonna. Get, go too big into it right now, but find certain stuff with the gems you accumulate. You accumulate later. That's part of my criteria for getting arms in this game, which I am gonna be going for. Like, oh my god, if I can't believe I died, I, I didn't die. There, I just took damage. Jeez, I can't believe I fell there. It's especially odd because, like, during my practice one, I, I didn't botch this area like, at all. Of course, the Let's Play Curse has had a kick in here. Okay. Now, as you may have noticed, as we were going along, those those bombs will target those platforms, causing us to, well, at least try to uh, attempt to cause us to fall. So, yeah, you, unless you're quick, you are going to be, well, taking damage. Yay, we're done to see. Okay, so right on here, we have to avoid this jackass who will attack us from behind. Not behind, but underneath. There will be like, more of these guys. Like the more like, the um, these like platforms like they collapse. So here, so we just gotta just, well let the bombs take him take him out for us, cause well we can't attack him. It's all a matter of pretty much knowing where to be and where not to be. And wow, like all those guys at all once. Let's press on forward. Hey, you made it. Gah! When says the Emerald Baron is just ahead. And I got a message from him straight from my hair to his... Jury. Jury. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of with her on this one. Work on your lines, uh, Shante. <laughs> well, seriously, so we could just gotta. The Emerald Baron is just up ahead. We've got to like, basically just make a mad dash here because the bridge is gonna be destroyed behind us. You know, just take you guys out. Awesome. We're back, I'm back up to full health. Okay, this old man. Is when you're at your save point, he'll basically follow you around because, well, he's your save point. That's kind of his job. You save your game. <laughs> uh, joking aside, let's ready to take on the Emma Baron. That's right, boys. Tear down that preschool and convert it into a long range cannon. And that artillery center, another cannon. Ah, it's coming along. I'm tearing up here. Hold it right there, Emma Baron. No one weaponizes the elderly on my watch. Couple of boys, you shouldn't have. Is she here to dance at my victory party? Thrice approved. Yes, she will indeed do. No, I'm not really getting it. Um, an expert dancer? Uh, an expert dancing genie? I thought that was the occupation. I don't know, some kind of 
Oh, yeah. Some kind of dancer, yes. <laughs> yep, the ammo baron gets it right. Yeah? Yes, whatever, stop wrecking our town. According to fairness towards oversized chocolate-holic land owners act, Mary Scuttlebutt. <laughs> Uh, Mary Scuttlebutt. <laughs> uh, you guys are good to I love the writing in this game. <laughs> it's hilarious. A full amount in cash or edible confessions before you can claim legal uh, occupancy. <laughs> hmm, let me see here. You guys, she's right. If I'm not built that son. Purple hair pipsqueaks damaging me my glorious new empire. Let's dance. Alright. Emma Baron. He's a joke. Like, seriously, he is a freaking joke. He'll have this rhyme attack that I'll go as far as these crates. So as long as he rests here, he won't be able to do much to you. Like, oh jeez, will you stop ramming those crates and the fire already? Okay. Those cannon shots will go as high as the crates. What you're gonna do is knock back the right crates and just rip him as much as you possibly can while he's out of the tank. As long as you rest right here, he is helpless. Like, seriously, the only two attacks that he possibly has is that cannon fire and charging and charging. He'll only go as far as the crates, like I said. But still, like. Like I said, the, the, the Emerald Baron is pretty much my favorite baddies to lay a smackdown on. Okay, just knock that back. And he's done. Didn't need to take any damage. He's that easy. That takes care of you. No, look what you've done to my tank. It was a gift from mother. Really? Really? What's all commotion? Yep, the Hammer Baron. He's starting to destroy Skull Town. I want my chocolate back. Really, Mayor? You're concerned about your chocolate? Chocolate? Did you say chocolate? CHOCOLATE! I had to. <laughs> Who said that? Hey, it's the guards. What's up? Well, the guards still fix this. Guardian Genie, you must cease your attack by order of the Scranton Land Sultan. Oh, me? Pa ha! You see, laws on my side, gully go. Yeah, he's the one trying to wreck the place. For assaulting the rightful owner of this town, your status as town guardian is hereby revoked. <laughs> then we are summoned to court. <laughs> What's this? You're hereby confined to court to quarters until your hearing in Scrinland Palace. You'll be relieved of any special weaponry at that time. Good day. <laughs> oh, snap. This isn't looking too good for us. They can't take my hair, can they, Uncle? Yeah, otherwise he's left helpless. Do what I say for now. What a... Patience. I'll head to the palace myself to sort this out. I promise you'll stay out of trouble. I like how it's highlighted in yellow. My poor, poor town. It's Ammo Baron's town, technically, since you sold it off. Yes, we've. Ah! Oh, I see what they did there! Haha. 
Well, we did blow up the um, Emma Baron's tank, so technically we blew it. <laughs> Let's have to place our trust in the authorities and hope for the best. Uh, how did I get into this mess? You can thank the former mayor. I'm gonna say you don't care for him. That rotten risky boots. Ever since he saw my magic, things have gone from bad to worse. A hot bath is just a thing I need to clear my head. Wait, since when do you have a bath? Wait, I don't have a bathtub. It's booby trapped! Uh, it's risky boots. Well, well, is this a sight? In the flesh! Enjoy my booby trapped bathtub, I see. You're in big trouble when I get all this. Please, you give me goosebumps. I'll keep this quick. Tell me where my men are, and I'll let you live to see tomorrow. What are you talking about? Yeah, what are you talking about, Risky? Don't get cute. My men and my weapons are gone. Why are you talking to us? You don't have any pirate gear or your pirate crew. Only thief around here. Healy. Then perhaps he can explain why your uncle has my crewman cage up in his lab. Wait, what? Okay, why would he have one of your crewmates? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm keen to see this proof. There's my missing man. Right there, in dear old uncle's workshop. What have you got to say for yourself now? I, I didn't know. I'm sure there's a reasonable explanation. Sure there is. You wonder... Mmm, pretty sure we aren't the type of hero to plot revenge. What can a hero do that? So my poor defenseless Tinker Bat, he's terrified. Uh, he looks just fine to me. Exactly! Yay, what done is he? This is your last chance, tell me where they are. I want my men! I want my weapons! I want them right now! Huh? Come well, on, something's happening. <laughs> Screen. I can't go back! No! No, it can't be! Yeah, seriously, I'll explain it. Look up! I'm on arm! Deal with this creature quickly! Uh, can we get me, like, get, let me get decent first? Yeah, seriously. Can't fight in the nude. Well, anyway, this is, okay, this is the first instance of a cursed Calcobat. They, okay, these guys aren't... All that difficult to deal with. They just jump around and by by one of their attacks, they'll just they'll dash at you. If they're close to you. Well, they'll bite you. Okay, just put them real good, and there we go. Here, get rid of this wretched stuff for this. Got the magic limb. We got the got our lamp back. Awesome. Okay, now the magic lamp. You want us? Yeah, as the description says, you, you can press X to suck things up. It's a great way to explain it, but yeah. We just want to suck up this dark magic with our magic lamp. I got him, now can you, can you please explain what's going on here? There's no time. What about the lamp? Aren't you going to try and take it back? Keep it. I got bigger fish to fry. And so do you. If the pirate master has returned to Scrimlet. Pirate master. 
No clue, Shantae. Yeah, who's the Pirate Master? Questions start to pile up here. Well, what do you want? You have the hook, so get lost. This Pirate Master guy, he sounds pretty dangerous. Dangerous? He's the greatest threat in Scrimland it's ever known. Last time he showed up, he took the combined power of every last genie to defeat him. What? It took the power of every last... Wow, this guy sounds pretty terrifying. Wait, you're talking about real genies that captured him? He's dead. So don't, don't let that fool you. When the genie's gone, the power master will do everything he can to regain that dark magic and rise again. Yeah, just like that, um... Just like that cursed cacklebat. Stuff that transformed my crewmen back there. The Pirate Master must be stopped, or Scrimland is history. After all, he has no right to destroy what I've worked so hard to conquer. Sorry to burst your bubble, Risky, but you're not exactly a ruler. Ha! A runt like you wouldn't stand a chance against a foe like the Pirate Master. I can deal with this myself. Are you sure? You just said yourself, you're completely unarmed, and without your crewmen. How? You have got a f you can't even fight a single cuckoo on your own. Yeah, shantae has got a point. True. But if I destroy the dark magic at its source, I won't have to fight at all. Cutting off the power he feeds on should keep him in, a, in the grave where he belongs. I'm only lacking one thing. A map of the Forbidden Isles. Uh, it's convenient how there's a map of the library. I can't go to the palace. They'll clap me in irons. Unless... Uh, yeah. Um, she's expecting us to go to the... Um, palace and fetch the map. But before we do that... I'm just gonna go through, go through I'm, I'm just gonna go into like these different areas here and explain them okay, th okay this girl right here will take these heart squids takes four of them and she'll upgrade our health for us there's 32 heart squids in all so yeah collecting all 32 heart squids is but the game is that technically asking asking you for like, when it comes down to percent completion. There's also these cuckoo bats. There's twenty. There's a total of twenty of these. The cursed cuckoo bats and the um, heart scripts are all you technically need to worry about when completing this game 100 percent. But like I said, my criteria for 100 percent is. Has a lot to do with the gems that we'll be, we'll be collecting. For now, let's get our second dark magic. <laughs> awesome. Alright, now, as to what I was talking about, I'm, just, I'm gonna show this off right here. Yes, this is the, the shop. You can buy various things such as potions, the fire flare, which is pretty useful it'll warp you back to the um ship so it's a quick way back to the um, the port of each area i guess you could say okay this is what i'm okay, this is what i'm talking about when it comes to my criteria for 100 percent uh, buying each of these different skills which can be useful in certain scenarios back dash which allows you to um quickly uh, which is used for evasion this if you hit with a heavy attack, you can recover pretty quickly by pressing the jump button. And power kick, which is, well, powerful. <laughs> There's nothing really more to say about that. Uh, yeah. As for these two items in particular, the shampoo, hey, by shampoo, you can upgrade your hair, frankly, and do more damage. The silky cream, again, hair product. What it does is enable you for faster attacks. All the, all these items are really really good. Uh, I can't exactly say all these items, but 
For the most part, most of these items are especially good. But with all that being said and done, last thing I want to do, this time for real, last thing I want to do is, well, in here and tell a friend what, what's happening. Shantae, I thought they had you under lock and key. <clears throat> I'm on my way to the palace library to get something to read, you know, pass the time. Can I borrow your library card? You? Read a book? This I have to see. <laughs> Yeah, I want to say that as well. <laughs> because when has Dante ever read? Just don't win this card like you did the last one. I nibble when I'm nervous. <laughs> wow. Uh, so you ruined your own library card, Dante? Oh, whatever. Anyway. I think we made enough progress on this episode. We're running on 25 minutes. So we're going to call this quits here, right? Next time on Let's Play Shantae and the Pirate's Curse. We'll be heading out to the library to pick up that map to the Forbidden Islands. See you guys then.